What's up everybody, this is Nutjux, and today I will be playing Cuphead. The game has been taken, it's taken about four years for this game to come out. It finally came out yesterday on the 29th of De uh, September, I about said December there. Um, it's a side-scrolling shooter in a style of a 1940s cartoon, as you guys can tell. So right there we have Cuphead and Mugman. So let's get underway and see their adventures. I've played this game a little bit, not too much. Uh, I'm not very far into the game, I'm only in the second part of the island, but let's look at the intro real quick. It's a book. Don't deal with the devil. Cuphead. Alright. Let's get underway. Once upon a time in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived, <laughs> they lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. I, I don't see wise or watchful at all in that picture, but okay. Different times, I guess. One day the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed the King Dice, the casino sleazy manager. These fellows can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The, laughed a newcomer. the brothers gasped. Gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about you raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. And the sleazy smile on King Dice. Snake eyes, laughed the devil, slamming the, slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear. He loomed over them. Now how about those souls? The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There, there must be another way to, to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, Mr. Cuphead, added. I don't know why I did that in Cuphead's voice. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out of the rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of these souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, painted Cuphead. We have to find Elder Kettle. Oh, what do we do? He'll know what to do. Now what do we do? Wow, fucking read that wrong. Butched the line. Butchered. Now I even butchered saying my own statement. Damn. What a roll. I like the little loading screen there. It's kind of neat and different. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't wait <laughs> want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts. Word gets around fast. Then we just ran up to this old dude. Now he knows everything's going on. And you best be ready for some nasty business. Your data friends will be very friendly once you confront them. I'm changing my voice constantly when I do Elder Kettle's voice. In fact, I expect they'll, be very, they'll transform into some terrible beast. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You'll need to prepare for yourself for a scrap. Alright, controller's working for once. Testing on this was actually pretty bad. Alright, so down is duck. Haze to jump, go figure, and dash. Down A is to descend. Shoot, rapid, hold X. You got an eight-way dimensional portal. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, eight-way eight -way shooting. All right, pink items you can uh, parry. Boom. Excuse me. If we're playing two players, you can arrive a fan, friend by doing the same thing. And you have like your super move, it's X move on here, but that's B. It's your cards down at the bottom left where it says HP is my hit points. Those cards, after so many times, will... Uh, give you a bonus extra shot there. So now that the tutorial's done and you guys have seen it, and it did take me 30 minutes to beat it like that one guy, let's get underway. Really like the loading screen. It's almost as good as Stanley Parable. Alright, let's get out in the world. See what's going on here. Alright, so as you can see, it's uh, top down. You get to run around as Mugman. There's a... Nope, can't interact with that one. I didn't do much venturing when I actually first got this. So let's talk to this guy. Hey fellas, look like you're in, for, you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around, going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Is that Pac-Man? I think there's a copyright infringement here going on. Alright. So here's the shop. Well, there's a boss. Let's go into the... Let's see what this does. Forest Follies. Running. <laughs> So, oops, sorry guys, um, running gun, what I've seen so far is just the regular stages, you run around, you're shooting, shooting characters, 
So let's get going here. All right. Oh, shit. That came in the number. All right. So I'm just going to hold X because I'm being cheap. Then I got that coin. Take that. Oh, crap. The guy didn't jump down. That's weird. I don't like these guys right here. I had a hard time. The first time I played this, I struggled trying to get past this level. All right, there we go. Oh, crap. Okay, got to time this. Dash. Ah, crap. Oh, shit. He almost got me. Oh, that was stupid. I descended for no reason. All right, oh. Oh, crap. Okay. Dash through. Got him. All right. Got over, over. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I died. Crap. I didn't do too well. Uh, about halfway through the stage. So if you guys see here on the, uh, once you die, it gives you about how far along the stage you were. So the flag is the end. I made it about halfway. So let's get going. Try this one more time. So you, like I said, you got three hit points. Um, you can get other advancements in the game. Uh, you just have to keep collecting the coins. So anytime you go through a stage like this, you need to make sure you're collecting your coins. If not, you're going to hurt yourself in the long run. Uh, your abilities stay with you throughout the whole level, uh, throughout the whole campaign, I guess you want to call this, or whatever you want to say, the story. Um, so far I've only used two, so when I play this one I will not be using the two that I have already because I already know what they do, and I prefer to expand my knowledge on what's going on. So we got two coins so far, and boom, got that guy. Dash through here, kill him, kill the mushroom. Alright, time this up, wait for, there we go. Boom. And oh, come on, there we go, got the blue guy. Crap. I don't think I'm going to get that. I have no... I don't think I'm going to... Oh, shit. Came close to getting hit there. All right. So, so far what I know about this is it, it, it's been pretty fun playing it. Oh, crap. Got to put myself in a bind there. I can parry that one. Dash. Jump, dash. So here's the acorn machine. You just got to dodge it. So you have mini bosses when you do the running gun stages. Um, they're normally super simple and take a little bit to beat. Oh, Jesus. I forgot about these guys. Damn it, and died again. So I'm close to the ending there. So when you normally run into the mini-boss, you don't have much further to go. You're almost at the end, or you are at the end. Um, so let's get going here. Let's keep playing. So this is the one thing. you got to kind of learn the pattern that it goes in, uh, just like any old style of... Well, side-scrolling side shooter, you just learn the pattern of what the character's going to do and how it's done. And then by the third or fourth time you play through the one stage, you'll know what's going on. But the difference is, I've played a little bit of this, so I should already know how to beat this stage, and still I can't get past it. Which is pretty freaking sad. Alright, got him already. Dash through. Oh, crap, 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 crap. There he comes. Alright, jump up mushroom. There we go. Boom. Dash through again. Dash through. Kill this guy. Finger bang that, yeah, that sounded completely wrong. So if you notice, the acorns will follow you until they uh, get you, or once well, they line up with you. So just make sure when you're fighting the acorns, you can either stop and dash. It's my method of doing it. Oh, missed again. I need to descend. Get it. Ah, crap! I got hit. Let him hit. Jump over. Boom. All right, acorn battle. But because I have that, I'll use the boost or special move kind of. So if you collect, if you get five uh, cards, you actually get a different type of bonus shooter thing. Special power, I guess, or superpower. I don't know what you want to call it. Come on, mushroom, jump up. There we go. All right. So pretty easy stage, even though I died three times. It's, it's a lot simpler. Like I said, just pick up the pattern, and you'll know what to do. Um, and after that, you get graded. So you get graded on your time, your hit bonuses, how many items you parry. And like I said, you, if you uh, have an item that is pink, you know to parry it. I did not, so I got a lousy score of a B minus. Uh, it helps if you don't get hit. You can go back through and always upgrade your score if you want to. Go back and play it again. But once you're done, the way you know you beat it is you get a different path, and then you have a flag that's up. So we have eight coins. That means we can get two upgrades, or at least, uh, depends on the upgrade. So, depends on how you want to do it. So, long range below average damage, but you all, no aiming required. This thing will literally 
This is one of the ones I used. Uh, it goes back, so you can have your back turned to the character and the, the bullets will find its way. Uh, you get extra heart, uh, which means you get an extra hit point. You get your spread shot. Uh, it does about four ways, and it does extra damage because it's closer. You have a smoke bomb, and then you have roundabout jumbo uh, rebound. Yeah, excuse me, yeah, roundabout jumbo rebound. Great coverage with the uh, average damage. Let's see what this does. Hmm, medium range, good damage. Uh, just for the mere fact that I kind of want you guys to see the game a little bit longer and maybe beat a stage a little bit faster. I'm going to get an extra heart. But now that we got that done, let's back out. Let's put the upgrades on. So you see how you do that. So once we get done with the loading screen, yep, it teaches you. There's a tutorial. So you go in, shop D. You have your roundabout. Put that on there. Your super, nope, excuse me, sorry, it's a charm. You got your extra health. So you get, as you can see, six charms, three supers, and then you have six more different shots. Uh, you can change this out. You do not have to keep it. And then the list. There you go. Four swallies. It tells you there's four worlds. And they all have different times and lengths and everything like that. So, with that being said, let's go find our first boss. Bo bo ugh, botanic Panic. I think I said that right. I may have butchered that word. And LBs to switch your weapons. So let's see what happens. Oh. So this is one of the ones that... Uh, on the gameplay of it, well, a couple, I think it was two years ago, it showed uh, this stage. Because with one of the bosses, and each boss has different stages per one, like the next one right here is an onion. Because you go from potato to onion to the next one being the carrot that everyone remembers. And this is probably far the easiest one so far, is the onion that I've ever faced. Now there is one that I hate, I, keep, I kept losing to it, it was the first time I uh, played this, and I kept dying to this uh, one of the other bosses, and I'll show you guys that boss. So I was talking to you guys a few seconds ago about the uh, if you hold off and get all five cards, you can see it spinning right there. And what you do is if you jump up, let me get out the way here, jump up, boom, get a like I said, different special every time. And boop, 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 boop. So the only way your special bumps up is if you fill, if you hit the character. If you don't hit anything, it doesn't do much for you. And I just got hit. Uh, do, 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 do. Misp. But it also looks like if you guys are trying to find a different super, um, like I said, I used the first three and I got one of the hearts and I told you guys I wasn't going to use any of the uh, specials that I already had. But it looks like they come out with the same set no matter what. Crap. Because the first one I did was the long range one, and that one's going to help you out a whole lot if you're like first playing the game and you don't know what to do. Because um, it's automatically, like I said, it automatically finds a target. And that helps out a ton when it comes to the first playing the game. Because like I said, it's going to go back. It won't do as much damage, so it takes you a little bit longer. Um, but I always use the combo in my other playthrough as a... Uh, there you go. Beat the first boss. I use that. I use the combo of the long range and the short range uh, shotgun blast type right there, and it helped me out a ton to get through the first couple stages uh, after I got my upgrades. So it took me two minutes to beat that boss. I only had one hit point, so I got hit twice, um, and then my super meter. Yeah, so I did pretty bad on this one. But let's see what happens once I uh, get this. Boom! Beat the boss. Brings me down. All right. So we got our first boss. And beat our first stage. Um, let's see, you got the Root Pack Soul Contract. Alright guys, well this has been Cuphead. This is, like I said, the first video of the game playthrough. I'll be playing this at the same time I'll be playing inside for the channel. Um, if you guys want to see more, you want to see something different, you want to see a different power-up, or you, whatever you guys want to see out of the game, let me know. And just send something to the channel in a message saying, hey, this is what I want to see. Till next time, guys. See you later.